all right guys welcome back to the youtube channel so again we're gonna be continuing on the latest episode of outlast and i'm annoyed because i still have no idea where i'm going why Stupid enough to not know that there was another way. And I'm stupid enough to have seen this twice and not realize that this is where I need to go. So, obviously, Chris here is in the right, man. Holy, dude. How am I that dumb? All right. So, we're going for the battery, because obviously we don't care about our lives, and um, a bit scared, a bit scared. This man is out for blood. It's already a better start to this episode than we had last time. It's like, get to the elevator, right? That was the goal. Okay, we got the key. Where are we going? Where are we going? Freedom is in sight, boys and girls. Okay. Let's go, 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 let's go. Hello? No. Wait, why are we going down? What's down here? No. Okay. No. 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 Whoa! What is this? I have a whole secret area? Whoa! Is this ice? It is. That's crazy. What is this sign? Wow. This seems weird. Okay, blood everywhere. Clearly the work of the wall rider, because why not? Um, hey buddy. Dead. Sweet, we got a file. I'm gonna go ahead and read that. Uh, from personal records of Dr. Wernick Frankenstein of the Modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, chapter 23 excerpt. Man, I cried, how ignorant art thou in thy pride of wisdom. Cease, you know not what it is you say. I broke from the house angry and dis uh, disturbed and retired to meditate on some other mode of action. Okay. Again, we're just kind of having fun here. I mean, you know, like who's not excited to see that in the morning? That's kind of gross. Just a random arm, chilling. All right, cool, cool, cool. So now we're going into a dark cave here full of ice. Bit scary again. Another dude just killed. Hey, guy. All right, let's move on. A block. Nothing on the walls, nothing on the ceiling of note other than blood. It's getting a bit brighter. This man's dead. Look like he died running away from something. Okay. So, again, a bit scared. Morphogenic engine chambers. I wonder what all this is about. What was the goal? What were they doing? So this is cool. Nothing of note on the computer, I see. Um... Yeah, fun. Nice. Medication. Not specified. Avoid contamination. Wash your hands. We were uh, talking about COVID there. A little bit late for COVID joke, I think. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Wow, quite a bit. Uh, explosion of blood. X-ray. 
can't tell what looks weird, but, you know, I'm no doctor, so. What is that? A spinal cord? All right, my 14th autopsy of a wall rider patient showing no sign of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and mitosis or mor morphogenesis, uh, genesis, sorry, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm. So tried, so tired, doubting my judgment. We'll submit another request for leave. The psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patience is more than I feel I can handle. May suggest hanging less hope on the far flung theories of a C9 Nazi and move forward using a simpler mechanical engine uh, based on major sperm protein. We'll definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints. Murkoff security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Okay. So it's always fun when what you're trying to do creates something that you have a hard time stopping. Uh, I mean, if you're doing something where you need tranquilizers to stop a human, I don't think you should be doing it. This is graphic. Holy cow. So my apologies if I'm talking a lot. I'm just trying to be a little bit more interactive than I was in the beginning of the whole series here. Uh, so, you know, again, if you guys have any suggestions, it can also be about how I'm approaching the whole situation. How I'm going about everything. Uh, or carcasses. Okay. I don't want to go in there. I'm going to go down here. Towards the blood. Towards the blood, good sir. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. More blood. More blood. Okay, the stairs broke. That's cool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to go down that way either. So we're gonna go through this door and see if this has anything of note. Okay. Alright. Morphogenic engine. So this is the uh, algorithm that they use to create the alchemical component um, in order to essentially morph the people and or I'm assuming create the wall rider. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, we got a note. I'm not going to read it because I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to survive. And I can't see nothing. Jeez, that is dark. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Nobody, nobody locked me down. Okay. Where in the world do I go? Oh, God! <laughs> what? Oh, thank God. Okay! Yo, this is kind of crazy. Wow! Oh, my God! I guess we don't have to worry about Chris no more. Jeez. All right. Um, hey, you know, I'm not mad. Sheesh. That's a bit crazy. Under the mountain. FFFF. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I'm not crazy. I know. I know. Only crazy people say that. But I am as sane as this world allows, with a camera full of evidence. Don't call it gospel, call it mockery of reason. Let the world know it is Murkoff's fault. Bury these bastards with my mutilated dead body. This is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and algorithm reprogram us, turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw and a few hours alone with Dr. Wernick's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. 
This is the way you die, ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Yeah, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, Chris got destroyed, buddy. Called me little pig, told me no more run. Now he's dead. That's what he gets, honestly. Shouldn't have messed with me. Messed with the wrong reporter today, buddy. Okay, I figure. And of course. Maybe... Did it look like he destroyed the vent that Chris died in? Okay. Oh. Oh, and all the wall rider disappeared, so he definitely doesn't have a quarrel with me right now. Uh, hopefully he doesn't decide that he hates me later. Okay. Ew. Ew, ew. Ew. Okay, no way into the vents here. Who's this guy? So, Billy is Wall Rider, and I have to kill Billy. The question is, where's the laboratory? How do I get to the lab? Delivery exit. Are the lights still flashing over here? Because that would mean the doors are still closed. Yes. Okay, was there... There's no way to get in any of this, so we have to find our way into the lab. There's going to be a lot of exploring in this episode, because I have no idea where I'm going. So into the lab. And he closed his door. Oh, I obviously went the right way here. Okay, so knocked over fridges, dead body parts all over the place, blood everywhere. I see a theme here. He killed everyone. And he served them for lunch. Crazy. This is crazy. I don't know why we have so many doors. Nothing in here. I just like to check to make sure, you know, I'm getting all the documents. I'd really like to get all the story. Um, it's kind of interesting to see everything, too. Nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing. Nothing. Dead. Washing my hands would be the least of my worries in this place, man. Honestly. 
Like, yeah, wash your hands. Don't, don't get contaminated, but get killed. Obviously, that would be the goal here, right? Because, really, what are you going to do against a wall rider? He's literally, like, an imperial being. I don't think he can be hurt. Okay, and we're gonna die. Okay, heal, 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 heal. Feel better, feel better, feel better, feel better. Clearly he doesn't want me going this way. Clean me, clean me. I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, a bit of a bad idea to stop here to read a journal, but we're gonna do it. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions and godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are our scientists. So I'm assuming that they were scared of like the strength bull rider because you know, I'm not gonna lie, man's pretty scary. Man is pretty scary. Okay, sweet. We are going, and that's him. Basically, is there anything in here that we need to pick up? No, nothing. Okay. Turn off the bell for the life cycle. Yeah, Billy, I'm sorry, buddy. I gotta take you out. Alright. Not gonna lie. Camera messing up constantly is a little bit scary. Uh, to avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. The enriched oxygenated perfluorocarbonated for, from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain in the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. In the case of a catastrophic loss of vital systems one and two the life pod fail safe will engage maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive disabling fail safe will result in immediate patient termination okay so okay i'm assuming this is where they killed one of the other ones yeah who is this guy wow he's freaking out it's bugging Images on the screen. Yeah, this is a bit. I really need to figure out where I'm going from this bow. Okay. So I climbed all the way up here for no reason. Oh, damn. Can't take no shortcuts. It's gotta be this door. All the way over here. Turn off the camera for a little bit. We're just gonna run around, figure this out. All this blood, death, whatever that is. Okay. I think he's on his way. The wall rider. Not gonna lie, this guy's scary as hell. Ooh, fire. Is the switch not in here? 
I feel bad reading all these, but I want to make sure that we get the full story. Learn from me. If not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge? And how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than the nature allows. Greater than his nature allows, sorry. Okay, so I think we gotta go this way. There's the valve. I don't know if this will kill him or just piss him off. Do not turn the valve. Okay. Sub lab generator. Gotta turn off the power. Whatever's happening, he's pissed. I don't know what the sub lab generator is, honestly. I don't know if doors slow him down or not. I mean, he is kind of like a specter. Just doing it out of, like, hopefulness at this point. Ah, uh, nice. Scary. Okay, we can fit through here, we can fit through here. Go, 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 go. Run! You can do it, reporter. You're not just a reporter. You're here to save lives, to protect yourself. To inform the world as to what is going on in this asylum. Holy crap, there's a lot of stairs. What the heck? Oh, I can't look behind me. Run, 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 run! Oh, okay. I don't think he's coming here. Okay, break it open, break it open, rip them, rip them. Yeah, he's pissed. Okay, hopefully his ethereal self is not still flying around trying to kill me. Hey, buddy! Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's pissed. Luckily, though, he didn't just drop me. He actually caught me. He was trying to have fun with his food. That was his mistake, though. Now we get to go shut him down. Billy, you messed up, bud. You should have killed me when you had the chance, honestly. Shut her down, shut her down. Wait, how do you shut her down? I don't know how to shut her down! Okay. So we are recording him die. And then we're getting- oh my god. Oh! Oh, jeez, is he going inside of me? All while his body was dying, his mind was still trying to rip me apart. You know... Before we try to do anything, let's go back and read our notes real quick. Let's finish this off. The assembler, the feed chambers, the uh, 
precursor modules, big memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is the center of it all. Find him, kill him, and this. Pretty straightforward. From Billy's patient reports, he thought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Billy is dead. The wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is, unmade with him. Whether I escape or die, here I am free. Alright, buddy, well, let's, let's get out. Let's, uh... Let's survive. I don't know... Where the exit is, though. I don't know if this is it. Okay. So back up through the lab up here. This whirring is really loud and kind of annoying, honestly. We're almost there! I think this is the end, guys. It's been a journey. Oh. We're passing out. Struggling. To be fair, though, he did get his fingers cut off dropped from unbelievable heights and thrown around like a rag doll being called little piggy so and with that sound it's kind of hard to think that we're not like possessed by the wall rider or something i know that we killed him and essentially the idea was that he was somebody's mind in an inferior form because of some nanotechnology that they created but it's still kind of curious to think, right? Did he become one with us, or am I just crazy? I think that's the exit. We're almost there. Just a few more steps. Oh. No. Hey, why did they shoot me? Oh gosh. I knew him. Okay, see, so from what it seems, he didn't die with his body. He just took over mine. And so they tried to kill me. And I think with the ending there, all of the soldiers ended up dying as well. So quite literally no one was meant to leave. I think that's kind of an interesting ending. Um, dang. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I feel like there could have been more brought on if they had let the journalists live and spread the word and, you know, kind of tell people what was happening there. Uh, but then I guess it would have kind of released the wall rider into the world. So I don't know. It's kind of a cool ending, though. It's a little bit different than I was kind of expecting, but uh, fun story. Fun story for sure. All right, guys, but I think with that, we're not going to make it through the full cutscene here. Uh, we're not going to go through the full credits and everything, but I definitely appreciate you all for stopping in. Again, thanks for tuning in to the last Outlast video. Uh, I think from here, we're just going to go ahead and keep doing Made of Scare uh, and then probably move on to playing Outlast 2 uh, here soon before Outlast Trials comes out. Then we're going to play that as well. Uh, but as always, thanks for stopping in, guys. You have a great day. Bye.